Hello, I'm Carmen. I'm from Church Plant Tech, and I'm here to show you how to turn an M4A into an MP3 in iTunes. So the reason why this is important is, as you can see, um, when you purchase something from iTunes, it comes as an M4A file right here. It says M4A. Now, that is proprietary. What that means is, is if I take this file right here, welcome to the new, and I try to put it on another computer where somebody has iTunes and they're not logged in to my iTunes account, they will not be able to play the song because I bought the song. iTunes only wants me to be able to play it. And there's also some other reasons why you'd want to change an M4A into an MP3. So let me show you how to change an M4A to an MP3 in iTunes. So here is the purchased file in iTunes. It says purchased AAC audio file. And this is the file that we want to turn into an MP3. So if I right click on the file right now, it says create AAC version. That's not what you want. You want it to say create MP3. So go up to iTunes. Um, what you do is you, um, in either Windows or on a Mac, you go. You can find preferences for the iTunes. And when it comes up under general settings, go down here to import settings. Click on that. Now right now it's saying AAC encoder, which is the iTunes setting. What you want to do is you change that to MP3 encoder. MP3 encoder. And then click OK. And then click OK again. Now when I right click on the file, it says create MP3 version. So I'm going to click on that. What it's doing is it's actually making another file right here. Mercy me. I've already done it once, so it's actually making two of them. Made a second one. So there it is. Welcome to the new Mercy Me MP3. Now, what can we do with this? Well, at this point, you can right-click it. Show in Finder or show in Explorer if you're using Windows. And you can find the file listed right here with the rest of your files. Instead of saying M4A, it now says MP3. So then you can take that file and move it to wherever you need to go and use that as an MP3. And it makes it a lot easier for people to, to, um, to actually play the music. So say you're taking music to uh, a DJ or um, some event where you want them to play certain music uh, so they don't have so you don't have to have them log into your account on iTunes. Um, this is the way to, to transfer the music to them.